airport. Now to assist airmen, runway 1836, closed except for taxi. Runway 1836, between runway Niner Center and taxiway Echo, closed aircraft with wingspan greater than 700 feet. Taxiway Charlie, between runway 36 and taxiway Pop, oh, closed. Looks like they're putting a new closed. engine in that one. Taxiway <laughs> Romeo, between the Romeo ramp and runway Niner Center, closed. Oh my runway god, Niner there Center isn't one on the left side either. Mike and oh yeah. 36, closed aircraft with wingspan greater than 700 feet. Aircraft inbound to Sanford from all directions. Contact Orlando approach on 135.3. What was the wind? Uh, we oh, uh, 113. Taxi and departure brief. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to give us the center runway. That'll be Charlie and then Lima. Uh, no hot spots. Going over there. Uh, departure brief, and we'll do a. Uh, I'll do a. Uh, I'll do a soft field takeoff. So we'll set we'll set flaps ten for that, and then we'll uh, depart to the north for some maneuvers. That's good. Any questions? Nope. Okay. Uh, and then this will be a left seat takeoff. Any abnormalities prior to rotation, we will board on the runway, notify the tower. Anything after rotation, we will decide to either land straight ahead wings level or return to the airport. Uh, going this direction. Probably 500 feet right, because we do have other options. Three, so 500 uh, feet or less, we'll go last straight ahead. Other than that, we'll try to come back to the airport. The Sanford 8 departure, then radar vectors 2000, 4000, 10 minutes after the fuel, uh, the fuel caps are on good and tight. Yep. Grant, good evening. Phenom 119 Echo, Pop and Millionaire with Quebec Radio Copy. Sanford Ground, Skyhawk 75829 are over at spot 5. We'd like a departure VFR to the north, 1,500 feet. Skyhawk 75829 are Sanford Ground, maintain VFR at or below 1,500. Departure frequency 135.3, squawk 0317. Skyhawk 75829 or maintain VFR at or below 1,500, frequency 353, squawk 0317. Skyhawk 829, are you back correct? Five is ready for a taxi. 829 are ready to taxi you at spot 5. Sure. And uh, Skyhawk 829 are runway, nine are left, Bravo 2 intersection departure, taxi via Kilo, Bravo, Bravo 2. Runway, nine are left at Bravo 2, Kilo, Bravo, Bravo 2, 829 are. I got the barger frequency in here, Renault Kilo, Bravo, Bravo 2, there's a hot spot here for the end of 9 Center, so we'll just make sure that we're uh, clear uh, before we taxi across that. Awesome. Ready? Bravo, yep, Bravo yep. Two. Clear right, center left. That's, uh, pulling into that area right now as well. For hot spots? I know they're like ground based, but I feel like that hot spot might also be based on like the landing traffic. It could, yeah, because well, look right here. Yeah, yeah. so like, that's that's crazy. Hawker one one. That's weird that they do that. Juliet yeah. Sanford, uh, clear the West Palm Beach Airport. Sanford eight departure is filed. Yeah, uh, I did think it was ground based, one, but three, five. King Air calling ground. Say again, please. Nine five zero Marco Tail off of nine or left going to Millionaire. Five four four from the zone. Uh, number two. Ah, that's cool. Super cool. Is it just me or was that plane kind of like hopping? It was, it was yeah. bouncing. Yeah, yeah, sure was. And tower, Skyhawk 75829, holding short of 9 or left at Bravo 2, ready for departure. 75829, Skyhawk hold short of 9 or left at Bravo 2, landing traffic and awaiting wake turbulence. Hey, hold short, 9 or left at Bravo 2, 829. Okay, we should be good to go after this guy here, so let's do our. Uh, okay, 544, number 75829, Skyhawk Tower, turn left heading 050, rolling 9 or left at Bravo 2, clear for takeoff. Okay, left uh, zero five zero nine left for Bravo two clear for takeoff eight two nine. Okay, we're simulating a short field takeoff here, so I'm going to keep it moving. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to hold back elevator pressure like this. Perfect. And I'm going to uh, get off the ground as quick as possible and then hold it in ground effect. Perfectly. Okay, there's ground effect. Accelerate to sixty knots. There's 60, and I'm going to climb at 60 until my obstacle is cleared. 
Obstacle is cleared, nose down, I'm going to accelerate to VY, it is 76 I believe, 73 in this airplane. Wait for 73, okay, there's 73, flaps coming up. Okay, and then continue my climb right here, there Beautiful. we go. Beautiful. There we are. Heading 050. Heading 050. Well, very well done. Wait till we get to 500 feet, and then we'll start our left turn out. This is kind of like a soft and a short field, right? Yeah, exactly, right? That was cool. Okay, there's 500 feet. I'm going to turn to 050. We're going to go to landing lights off. Echo Papa. Ages Common are still 19, in the green. 5,000. Four heading 080. Runway 9 left to Bravo 2, clear for takeoff. Down, Volvo 9 Echo Pop, clear for takeoff, 9 left, left turn, 0, 8, 0, and up to 5,000, Volvo 9 Echo Pop. Number 829er, contact Orlando departure. Orlando departure, 829er. Orlando departure, Skyhawk, 75829er, just off of Stanford, 1100 for 1500. Number 75829, land departure, I advance, first hit on course northbound, out of below 2,500. On course, northbound, at or below 2,500, 18-niner. I'll take controls. Your controls. My controls. 2,400, at or below 25. Perfect. Straight north, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful day outside. It's a little hazy, though. A little hazy, yeah. Alright, looks like we're about out of the airspace. Sweet. We are requesting the ILS runway 9 or left. Go. Five 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 after the second approach, you're going back to the north, is that correct? Yes, sir, we'd like to depart to the north after that, after the five five five. Alright. And approach, Skyhawk, 75829, frequency change. Number 758 to 29, weather services, 12BFR, and frequency change approved. Squad VFR, frequency change approved, 8299. Okay. 33 heading, 3500 feet. That should be high enough, huh? Yeah. Should be good there, so. Okay. Okay, I'll take the controls. Your controls. Try to stall here. So let's go into uh, slow flight here first. Clearing turns, lights are on. Tracks area frequency. Establish a glide here at about 65 knots, like we're coming into land, and I don't know what I'm doing. Full stall. Nose, nose down to recover. Okay, let me try, try, try it again here. I think this frequency is useless, to be honest. I want to just... Okay, do the same thing again, nose down, to uh, establish 65 knots, like we're coming into land, land right there, idle, and I'm going to pull, I can stay coordinated, stay coordinated, stay coordinated, stay coordinated, the rudder, stay coordinated, stay coordinated, pull, stall, car beat off, clean it up. Okay, so pitch up to uh, 55 knots here, which is our rotate speed, and then I'm going to go full power. 55, there it is. Okay, full power. 330, climbing 10, 1,000. 330, 8, 1, 1,000, 20, 3, 9, 3. I was on the rise, and that was a pain. Don't like it, don't like it. That was kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are scary. I hate, I hate doing them. Oh, I love doing them. <laughs> I just okay. put the right seat, I feel powerless. Oh, sure. Okay, try it again here. Yeah, so you're well, you're well inside the Bravo, and you're where the airliners are landing. Have oh, shit. Zero zero immediately. <laughs> okay. I don't know how you got there. There's 55, full power. What's the zero join final? What's the zero? Five, five, zero. Five, 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 five. Coordinated. Allegiant 2319, proceed direct to uh, Worms, please. See, Worms. I, don't, I don't like that. Why does it do that? I don't. Have a good 555, flight 110, join the final. 110, join. 
Number 469er, proceed on course to Vero Beach. Remain outside of the Bravo. Okay, let's try one more. Uh, I guess you don't know where the Bravo is. Just do not climb. <laughs> Maintain 2000. I maintain 2000, same as 165. That was better. Yeah, that was better. Did you put any aileron in? I did. I used a little yeah. bit. I was using a little bit of aileron to help control that vertical, the vertical axis. I remember axle. using aileron when I was doing it in private pilot. You do? Yeah. Okay. I think that's what I was doing wrong. Is I I not using aileron at all. The more dangerous thing is putting in rudder bias because then you get into a spin. Yeah. yeah true. So yep. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I could show you an accelerated stall. Yeah. Sure. So. This is one of the maneuvers we're going to have to do. So you start at or below VA. So VA will say is 92. So let's get this about 2,200 RPMs. Uh, there's no altitude restriction on this. So but we can start it here. So we'll go into a steep turn, um, about 50 degrees of bank. So we have 20, 30, 40, 45 is actually dotted out there. And then... Uh, Okay, so we're going to go throttle, idle, 45 degree turn, stay coordinated, and just pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Right there. That's all you have to do is, they say the first indication of a stall. So Which is a stall horn, right? Stall horn. So all, all you have to do is steep turn, pull back until it's, you know, you get the, so that's that's super simple. That's pretty cool. So, but. Okay, let me do a, uh, a landing checklist, uh, descent, checklist first, seatbelts fastened, fuel selector both, mixture is rich, uh, lights are on, gauges are in the green, we have the ATIS, we have the instruments set, and our arrival brief, we're doing a touch and go. Uh, landing, we are clear for landing, car heat is going to be on, collapse is required, final 65, go around ready. Oh. Alright, I'll put the first notch in. So show me how good of a landing you can do from the right. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, so you see that crab angle? That's kind of cool. Number one, three, five, yeah. five, Roger, runway now right, clear to land. And right, clear to land, but one, two, five, six. Carb heat, fuel both, make sure rich, lights on. Got flaps 10, I'll put, I'll put second notch now. There you go. And then, got some more lift being created. Go ahead and turn final. Yeah, like, I have no idea if I'm, like, 100% coordinated right it's, now. It's good, actually. It's not, it's, not, it's not bad. How do flight instructors do it? <laughs> I put a yaw string on the window the other day. Really? When I was out training, yeah. It it helped. Okay. It It's not very sensitive, so it only tells you, like, if you're way off, you know? Oh, uh, okay. Which is good in, like, uh... Like, it helped me in my stalls, like... Yeah, I was gonna say... Get the feeling down... You know, that'd be really good for stalls. Mm -hmm. All right, we're pretty much established here. We're really slow though. Yeah. Fifty-five knots. <laughs> Fifty-five? Oh my god! Yeah. I wasn't even looking. Yeah. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> I thought it was sixty-five for some reason. You were a little more gas. Yeah. Thank you for telling me that. There we go. That's sixty-five right there. Jesus! I didn't realize. That's bad. I wasn't really too worried about it. We weren't going to go anywhere, but... I think this thing stalls at like 43 knots or something with full flaps. <laughs> or yeah. or no, maybe it's 30... I, no, I think it's 39. It's it's in the 30s. Yeah, this whole right seat thing messed with me completely. For that. Yeah, because you're like way over that way. Yeah. Number 1-3 Foxtrot. Sierra 3 into the ramp. Have a good night. I'm on center line right now, I can't yeah. tell. Yeah, no, it's good. It's perfect, right there. I 
There we go. That was good. That was alright. <laughs> Car beat in. Flaps up. Alright, you've got the next landing. I, I will. I'm, I'm going to ask for a short approach if he'll give it to it, to me. Okay. Airspeed's alive. Our engine instruments in the green. And then he said squawk VFR. On the upwind, yep. Uh, right there. there. Yep. And power Skyhawk 829. If we could get a short approach on the next one, that would be wonderful. If not, that is understandable. Number 829, Roger. Uh, if you can do an early crosswind, I can get you a short approach now. They've got a uh, Phenom vectoring in. He's about 10 miles out. Uh, if you do uh, Your early controls. crosswind, I'll get you in front of him. Fight. Okay, we're turning uh, crosswind right now, and uh, we'll uh, wait, wait for uh, your call, uh, 829. That wasn't my worst thing. No, it was good. It was, it was good, I thought. But that 55 knots thing... It's kind of scary because I thought I was at 65. <laughs> so imagine. If oh, you didn't sure, say yeah, something. right. So yeah, thank you for t saying something. And that's why flying from the right seat should definitely yeah. have more practice before you it's do that. Definitely takes practice. Yeah. So biggest thing is seeing the instruments. Buggy four six nine is going in. Buggy four six nine, turn right, heading one two five. One two five, Buggy four six nine. Okay, pattern out. Number eight two niner. Oh wow, look at and that. And actually, I turned them in a little bit closer there. Give me one right three sixty, and uh, we'll get you in behind him. Okay, no worries at all. We'll do a right three sixty here, and uh, wait for your call. Eight two nine. Seven five eight two nine er. They got another jet coming in, but uh, let's get a little creative here. As you're making that southbound turn, overfly runway one eight. Continue southbound, overfly runway one eight. We'll put you on runway nine or right. I got no one down there, and I can get you a short approach easily on that side. Okay, awesome. That'll that'll work out better for everybody. We will overfly runway one eight southbound, and then join the uh, downwind for uh, runway nine or right eight to nine. Super clean phenom. That thing looks <laughs> so nice. I wouldn't have picked lime green, but I mean, it still looked cool. Sure. That's kind of a cool view here, flying over the airport. Yeah. Number seven five cool. eight two nine or number one runway nine or right. Clear for the option. And uh, short approach is approved. Okay, number one, niner right, clear for the option, uh, with a short approach approved, 829. Well, that's not really going to work, though. Can Just you do like a 180, or 270? And tower, uh, Skyhawk 829, could we make a left turn to join the downwind for niner right? That is approved, I've got no one down there on that side, so if you want to make the uh, left turn to join to make that uh, placement for the short approach, that's approved. Okay, left turn to join the downwind crew, day two nine. Awesome. Oh man, this has been a fun fight, actually. <laughs> look at that sun, do you see it? Oh wow, look at that. The ground necessarily. Oh yeah. This this'll work. We're 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 in a little bit close, but it'll make it a little more sporty, so okay, there it is. Five eight two nine. Just use caution. I see a small flock of uh, blackbirds moving north to south, just over the approach in the runway nine or right. Okay. Thanks so much for the heads up. We'll uh, watch for the birds. Eight two nine. Looks like they're continuing southbound. Should be uh, south of the runway, but they're birds. Never know where they're going to go. <laughs> okay. Thanks. About 75, 70 to 75 is what you want to pitch for on this. It's like VG, basically. Basically. Well, VG is 65. So, 
Um, sorry, I meant VY. <laughs> don't v know what. VY, yes. So, and then you you put in one notch of flaps. See those birds? Oh yeah, I see them. And then I think we're gonna be plenty high here. So, can you slip with the flaps? Yeah. Eighteen hundred. Yep. Okay. Is that like AstroTurf? It is. Why? I don't know. I'm going to figure that out. Beautiful. Well, not really. We came up short, but... Oh, you wanted to be right at the... I, I was... Well... No, I shouldn't. I, I shouldn't say that. I was distracted. I wanted to go to the thousand footers, uh -huh. but then I, uh, like halfway through that, I started aiming for the for the numbers instead. So, hey, your controls. I'm a uh, I'm a uh, hundred feet high, so I'm in yeah, a slight descent back to eleven hundred. Okay. And should I like how far out should I be for the one eighty? Uh, halfway up the strut. So you want to be. About over the about not quite halfway between these two roads, but like just a little bit in the water tower. Yeah, and then right here is perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yep, right here, just straight straight down that way, and then get back to get back to 1,100 feet. Oh yeah. Uh, and set your set your power about 2,200 RPMs. So keep Can't pulling, even see that. <laughs> pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, a little more, a little more, good, right there, yep. And then uh, back to, because we, we, we want to start this right at 1100, so. Yeah, I'll just do a little. Yep. And then as soon as you're beam your touchdown point, I, I would make the 1,000 footers your touchdown point. So the, as soon as you're beam that, car beat on, power to idle. Okay. Pull back the grid to maintain 75 and put in one notch of flaps. All right. Alright, right, so we're at, we're approaching a thousand feet. Alright. Yep, there you go. Pa power idle. Power beat on. And then pitch for 75, one notch flaps. Alright, we're in the white arc, one notch. Yep. That's 75. And then kind of just keep an eye on your on your touchdown point and kind of kind of um, your you yeah. yeah kind of uh, just um, you know kind of do a stepped turn around to it. Okay. About over the middle the middle of that displaced threshold, you're going to want to be about 200 feet approximately. Okay. So So that's seventy five. Can you just confirm that yep, for me? That's, yep, okay. that's yep, that's seventy five and you've got plenty of altitude here, so you know, a slip might be three hundred, yeah. I'm not coordinated though, right? No, it is. It's fine yeah. actually right now. Yeah, this whole thing is really messy. Yeah. Um if I want to do a slip I'll do it on final probably. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Seat. And then once you get close to ground effect, throw in all your flaps at once and just ride that ground effect down to okay. your down to your touchdown point. Very non-traditional. Yeah, exactly. So we're yeah we're going to be about yeah this is this is actually looking about perfect. So two hundred feet. Yep. There you go. Could I put in second notch now? Ah uh, no, I would wait because you want to keep your your forward momentum up. Okay. You, you don't want to keep pushing tower. that nose you down. The downwind, look for. Get it, get it to the ground effect about by the numbers here, and then all the flaps. Okay. There you go, all the flaps. Yep. And then just ride that ground effect. A little bit short, but... Buggy 469, Tower Tower, runway right, continue. Yeah, that takes a lot of planning. Yeah, it's not it's not easy. You make it look easy, though. <laughs> Alright, 69, airspeed's alive, I'm towing to the right of the runway. 
<laughs> uh, whatever. It's a 200 foot wide runway, so. Yeah. November 75829er. Make one right 360. Number 75829er, extend the downwind, looking for an Airbus on a two and a half mile final. Okay, we'll extend the downwind and we have the Airbus traffic at sight each day. Number 829er, and I uh, can get your only nine left or the center, what would you prefer? Uh, we can take the center, 829. Number 75829er, turn your base behind the Airbus, caution white turbulence, change to runway nine or center, runway nine or center, clear to land. Okay, base behind the Airbus, runway 9 or center, cleared to land, and we'll uh, use caution with the wake turbulence, 829. Look at that cloud. Weird. That is weird, yeah. Huh. We should be able to go over top of this, his wake, I think. Yeah. His wake sinks, so. Yeah. So. Uh, it would have been really cool if it flew through that cloud. <laughs> You would have seen the... Go ahead and turn, yeah, you can go ahead and turn here if you want. Yeah, yeah see that right, the cloud? Like, yeah. That would have been super cool. But badass. You can take controls whenever you want okay. to. Okay. My controls? Your controls. Keep it good and high here. Get above his, uh, get above his wake. Yeah, you don't want to mess with wake turbulence. <laughs> Have you seen like those like articles on people like going inverted because of the wake? Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's like absolutely unexpected too. Right. <laughs> wow, we are pretty high. Yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll get her down. Okay, uh, twenty two six seven turn right runway one eight right turn Bravo ten seconds. Right on, right on, bravo, you should helicopter it. Helicopter it? You should just uh, slip like when you're really close. I've actually done that before, it's a lot of fun. You should do it. Yeah, it sounds fun. Slip down and see if we can get off at the first the first taxiway. Oh my gosh. You want to be a stole pilot? Holding short, down or left, ready to go. Leading 2356, same for tower, fly heading 080, climb maintain 5000, <laughs> runway 90 west, click take off. It's such a weird sight picture. Leading 080, climb maintain 5000. Should we put an notch of flat? Or, probably uh, not. Depends on how much of a challenge you want. This is hilarious. Going 95 knots. Yep. Like 469, change runway, 9 center, runway, 9 center, quit away and wind, 0 9 at 7. Actually, I'm just going to do a flapless landing. Alright. Shit, yeah, we're not going to get off. Well, are we even going to land? <laughs> It's fine, we're just gonna float. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Ooh! Butter! <laughs> we landed a little long on that one! <laughs> that was great though. Okay, 29, turn left to Romeo, contact us. Left on Romeo, over to ground, 829. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Kinda scared me when you went like that. You jerked up? Yeah, it jerked up just a little bit. Yeah, I was like, oh, shit. I don't know what's worse, like, landing long like that, or the fact that I kept, like, reaching up trying to hit the brakes like a car. <laughs> 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 Ten thousand. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. We were way up there. That was the highest I got at that time. Yeah. Take medicine so that we can uh, acclimatize better. For like 
Yeah. Yeah. Really? That was pretty cool. I think that's only because... Um, well, I, I, I don't think it's there very often. Find something you love to do and then do it for the rest of your life.